I'm going to make a real quick video on this 2004 Scion XA um, wiring just in case anybody out there might have an issue with their windows not wanting to roll up and down or just uh, sometimes they want to roll up and down and sometimes they don't. Uh, power door locks when you try to push the button and they do not want to lock. So um, this is what I found out on this vehicle. So right here on the driver's side door, um, you have the wiring that comes from the door itself uh, that comes through a hole here in the wall. You can see that? So, this hole here goes through, comes through here on the inside part and uh, connects into these plugs. So the major plug here and then the smaller plug here. Um, and so what I did is I unplugged it and I pulled it out so I can uh, get a better access to it. And uh, I took this, um, this thing out so I can swing the door open a little more because uh, it's, it's, it's kind of tight area. Anyway, so bottom line, what happens, uh, what seemed to happen is, well, first of all, this car was in an accident, in the front end collision, and this tends to happen, um, or this is common to happen, uh, on cars that have been hit in the front quarter, and uh, what happens is when they get hit, um, the wires get cut. But what I'm noticing about these wires is that they are splitting on their own. You know, it could be that maybe an outside uh, force caused them to start to split and become fray and stuff like that. So I notice I normally notice this type of issue with German cars, uh, the plastic uh, cover, the color coat uh, starts to to uh, chap like that and crack. But I've never seen it on uh, Japanese cars, you know, Scion, like that, Toyota, Honda, that kind of stuff. They don't really tend to do that. But it seems like this one is doing it. So I'm thinking it's probably common on this year, uh, these years, these few years so of Scion, X, XAs and XBs, probably even T, TCs. Um... But yeah, I just want to share that. So um, on this car, this uh, white and black striped um, wire is uh, what closes the circuit. Well, this is the wire for the windows, all of them. So if this one's not connected, none of them is gonna work. Are gonna work. Uh, so I noticed when I would wiggle the door around, or if I had it uh, partially open, I would be able to roll up and down the windows. I would be able to lock the doors. Um, but anyway, so yeah, um, I'm sure there's other issues that I have because it's not just the only wire that I got that has that issue, that is torn. Several other wires are torn. So, for me, in order to try and fix it, what I'm going to do, instead of just uh, trying to fix it there in between, is I'm actually going to pull it out, uh, out of the, the door itself. I took the door panel off, and I'm going to swing it through and then I'm gonna pull it out this way so I can have the the best angle to work on it uh, typically you're able uh, you remove the, the speaker and you have this big hole in the door where you're able to get into it but they have rivets in this situation so all I did was peel back this plastic found the big hole and I rolled up the window so the way up and uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. But I just felt like I should share that um, because I don't understand why they are cracking. Typically, it doesn't happen to uh, these type of cars, but you never know. It might be common. Anyway, maybe I'll share more information on this. Okay, so I wanted to add a little bit more to the video. So we're going to cut it off at where I showed you. But anyway, so I cut off the rubber piece here. Um, and then I pulled it all the way back as far as I can go. So I can expose the entire wiring harness here. And so I'm going to get close here. 
see where the issue seems to be happening. Okay. So it seems like where the door's probably been opening and closing and opening and closing constantly. That's where the wires have been flexing constantly. And eventually they tore. Um, it doesn't seem to be doing it anywhere else. Um, I don't know if it's just going to be because of the, the type of material. Maybe they use cheaper wiring uh, uh, insulation or whatnot I don't know but for sure it's where where it's flexing a lot constantly and you could only you could see the torn wires obviously those two but you could also see the splits where the other ones did not break yet I got one there and uh, what else saw so, several this blue one maybe? Oh. No, that was for me using the razor blade. Anyway, so what I want to do is I'm going to wrap those up with electrical wire and stuff like that because you can see the split. And uh, I have to pull up on this thing to try and because uh, it's fastened down in there. See that white thing? It's strapped to that thing. To keep it uh, secure but I pulled up on it so I can get it out so I can get a lot of room so I can work with but yeah so anyway that's my that's my tip and insight on it I see this green one also has it um, yeah all these this green one there has it the red one has it so I'm gonna go through all these wires and uh, wrap them up I zip tie the, the electrical the tape that I put on it to secure it tightly and make sure it doesn't tear in the future and this blue one also has it and yeah that's my those are my that's my information that I have for you and hopefully this helped out all right thanks thanks for liking and uh, thanks for the few that have subscribed appreciate it and yeah, I'm trying to grow my channel I am extreme amateur right now but I'm working on it anyway thanks